Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah for today. Just saw a little bit of the behind the scenes magic there where I was trying to get some music going. Um, but the main menu of the game that we're about to play doesn't have menu, uh, doesn't have music. Ah, oh, I'm Luke Miller. Uh, I love queer little indie games, and so I'm going to play through uh, one of them today. A game called A S Only um, by GG Noni. Noni, um, which is a name that actually rings a bell to me. Um, so normally I don't know much about the games going in, but I do sometimes, you know, if you only play as many as I have, some of the names do pop up or crop up again. And um, this is one of them. Uh, I recall this person had a game, or this developer sent in a game to the Queer Games Festival a few years ago um, that was sort of a mixed media kind of collage very experimental multimedia kind of thing. Um, I think it was about like a grapefruit, like you sort of walking around on the surface of a grapefruit, talking to the sun or something. I'm not doing it justice. It was just really fun little, crazy little piece. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what they've done in the years since then. I mean, it could be another grapefruit game. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I'm playing it as part of the Queer Games Bundle, just, you know, I really love it. I think it's really worthwhile, and so I'm just sort of picking games out of it. I was I said randomly, but I did notice today when I was looking through the list, I was like, mm, skip, 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 I'll play this one. Because I felt like it. Alright, let's get going. I mean, the one thing about these, you know, if it is on the more sort of like queer end of games where it's a bit more like unusualness you may not enjoy it as much as like a straightforward narrative I don't know but um, I think there's real value in that in those sorts of you know surreal games a bit so we'll see I'm like making excuses for it already I think that's a mistake you know I guess I just want you to like the game and so I'm like even if it's not your type of game I hope you like it anyway that's probably what I should be saying not like Oh, well, you know, it's got stuff to like about it anyway. I'm so tired of you guys always thinking liminal spaces have to be indoors or building related. <laughs> Don't you all go out at all? I feel like that's very, um... It's a very COVID thing to say. It's very COVID. Is this another COVID game? I have a, like, I have a bunch of theories um, about, like, stuff made during COVID. That there's, all, there's a lot of introspection and a lot of, like, why aren't I going outside more? Uh, and so this is like ticking a tick tick ticking a liminal space tick a reference to indoors tick a reference to how I'm not getting outdoors enough tick 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 ever look up the definition it's literally building based liminal is it just me or is liminal a word that has just kind of come from nowhere in the last three years and is now just like everywhere um, if you don't know what liminal means I mean I'm I'm probably going to give you a garbled definition. It's kind of about a space that you're not supposed to, it's not your destination point. It's sort of a space that only exists in transition. Um, and even if that's the wrong definition, I think I like my definition better then. Um, so I hope that is the definition because it's good. It's a good idea, a good concept. So like, a, you know, a train station, I think it's in my garbled definition of liminal that's like the classic liminal space because it, it's this it's a real space but it kind of only exists for people to transition through and um, then you know i think you can get like places that are sort of destination places but then they're liminal liminal for a period of time maybe i don't know maybe this game will tell us what liminal is that would be good First of all, structures made by humans still exist outside of buildings. Second of all, have none of you, have you never seen Spirited Away? I think I saw it when I was a kid, but I don't really remember. OMG, wait, true. Isn't the main setting of that show within a hecking building? What the heck are you even talking about? But before they get there, there is this archway and these little statues and a bridge too, I think. And those are all portrayed as uncanny within the movie at some point. LOL. <laughs> okay, so it's still something built by humans, which is basically a building. This distinction is stupid. It's not stupid if you're not tired of seeing indoor pools with eerie lighting and abandoned mall shots. <laughs> 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 
Yes, because liminal, it's a bit of a, it is a bit of a buzzword. I guess there is a lot of like um, bad liminal art out there. Well, that's what people say. I think it's kind of like, I think I missed the middle bit where I was like, liminal, that's so edgy and cool. And then well, like I jumped to this bit where it's like, oh, I'm so over people posting liminal photos on Instagram. And you're like, oh, I, I think I missed the bit in the middle where people were posting photos of liminal spaces to Instagram. Ha, huh. damn. Smiley face, eyes closed. Yes, that's right, I can read emoti emoticons. Heck you, hecker. Not her fault you're a hecking normie, dude. <laughs> you too, heck. Heck my heck. <laughs> no, no, we're allowed to say arse on stream. We're all born of one. Well, most of us are born of one. And the rest is drag. Heck, what an what an idiot. It feels kind of nice to be backed up though. Are we on are we on uh is this game occurring entirely on the internet? That's kind of cool. Like you're having this conversation with your friends in this virtual space. Not quite liminal, I don't think, but also absolutely playing around with the the whole idea of like a meeting a meeting space. Or space in general. I wonder what her profile is like. I love this social network. It's a little bit Tumblr. It's a little bit... Hmm, I wonder if it's a real place, like a real website, or it's been mocked up for this game. Um, yeah, it's some sort of forum software. I don't know. Click some profile. Searches through posts. Oh, whoa. She's a pretty prolific uploader for this area. It doesn't seem to talk much in the forums, though. Oh, she has an ASMR channel. Well, that's the other thing. I don't know what the title means. So AS only. I did think it might be ASMR, which is which is that audio thing. <laughs> That's what I like about queer games, is they often really push your memory on like terms and phrases and genres and subcultures that you that you've heard of but aren't quick one hundred percent familiar with or haven't heard of at all, which is even better. Now ASMR is like that the audio sound scene well you know it's like people who like to or prefer or even need to have nice soundscapes around them or I don't always think they're nice soundscapes but they do have them what is ASMR audio sensory something or other I want to do this without duck duck going it but I'm gonna have to Ah, uh, I've come out of the gate a hundred miles an hour today, and we haven't even got very far into the game. Uh, a subjective experience of low-grade euphoria. Auto autonomous sensory meridian response. Okay, a tingling sensation that begins at the back of the skull. Alright, so I was wondering when I picked up this game, whether the AS stood for the first two parts of ASMR which we now know is Autonomous Sensory. So the game could be called Autonomous Sensory Only. Autonomous Sensory Only. Which kind of fits with the whole idea of it being like a queer experience game. You know, a bit experimental. Let us continue. ASMRSNist. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's a witty wordplay, but I can't say it. I can't pronounce it. Armorsonist, 99 subscribers, 50,000 channel views. They could be a game dev with that kind of coverage. Holy heck, how does she have so many channel views and so little, so few followers? Oh, damn it, mental autocorrect there. Let's check this stuff out. Wait, wait, so wait, what's the, wait, wait, sorry, what's the, what's the mystery here? Let me go back a bit. So many channel views and so few followers. Okay, so the mystery is that people are view going to this person's profile page, but then not hanging around. Mm. Mm. Title, hand scanning data decor in an empty restaurant. Description, personal machine handling, logging some flower teasing. Flower teasing. Title, Point of view, you're a shale outcrop. Description, eating you, breaking you, caressing you. <laughs> Title, what it's like to be a sewer. 
Description. AS only. Autonom aut ah. Autonomous sensory. So without the meridian response. Well, I don't know what a meridian response is. Although it sounds like the title of a science fiction book. What it's like to be a sewer. At my old place, there was a canal. And there was just two great sewer well, storm drains, I guess. Storm drains that just... Um, flowed into it at different ends of the canal. Like one further down was massive and all the water off the local park came out of that storm drain. Uh, and the one further up the canal was a lot smaller, but it was just graffiti all around it. And so if it was pouring with rain, I'd get my raincoat and I'd actually go and just go and look at these storm drains. Um, because they were beautiful when the water was flowing out. Especially, oh well, they were d beautiful in different ways. So the one the one further down, which is like a really big storm drain, in the background, like a couple of hundred metres behind it, was a little shopping centre. And because it was raining, you'd have people with their umbrellas just walking along the path. And so you just had this beautiful storm drain into the canal, maybe with some ducks, then a row of trees, and then just above the trees, you just have these little umbrellas bopping along and all different colors like pink and purple and black oh it was really nice and because it was nearish an airport you'd have these jumbo jets just soaring overhead every so often it was like a painting it was very pretty and then you go up to the other the other storm drain and um you just have sort of this water cascading over this kind of sharp graffiti it was all very good so, you know, what is it like to be a sewer? Well, actually, it can be quite beautiful, is what I'm saying. AS only, what's that? Click. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it, this game is actually going to show us what it's like to be a sewer. That is genius. She reaches toward a clump of mud or something, scoops up some globulated feathery clump of water growths in the bend of her arm. That's great art. I wish I was still taking screenshots, but that's last year. I'm just going to turn the volume down a smidgen. Alright. I don't know how long it is. Okay, then she moves her inner arm toward her chest. Slathers her face in the wet slimy algae and drags it down her neck. You can hear the squelching and tiny air pockets lurching around and escaping into echoes. Yep, I get that sound. Okay. I am at once in awe and confusion, a weird fascination I can't click away from. Everything looks and sounds so... ethereal. That's a great word. Forget liminal. It's about time ethereal came back. And then the video cuts off, saying I can see the full video on her personal website. That art is like... Classic GG Nonny. <laughs> now that I've played two of their projects. Um, it's like, if I tried to put together something like this, it would just be ugly. But here we've got someone who's managed to put together like a hand-drawn arm that's extremely like abstract. They've textured that gloop to perfection. Like you really, f it doesn't just look like gloop. It kind of feels like gloop emanating off the screen. And then the background is a low, it's not necessarily a low-res picture, but it's been compressed to hell and back, compressed to heck and back. And I've never mastered artificial compression because I guess I've got that kind of engineering side of it where I'm like, I can't, I can't fake it. And this is like real, really bad compression, but deliberately so. Ah, chef's kiss. Hmm. Do I go watch the full sewer video? It looked like it was going to get weird. I have to voice that I thought the video was weird, out loud, in case the wall's here, or in case someone is watching me. I can be a bit paranoid, but in reality, I feel such a strong urge to look for more. See, that's a very queer experience, I think. My phone flashes. It's a notification. Someone private messaged me on the Burger City Liminal Spaces forum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wonder if the Burger City Liminal Spaces forum is real. 
but if not, but either way, it's great, it's a great idea. I really hope it's not the girl trying to pick a fight, but I can't put it out of my mind. I should just stop making posts. It's too nerve-wracking, and no one has anything interesting to say. I check out the message on my computer. It's from Gelatine. Hey, I've been thinking a lot about your post. I feel the same way. Actually, most of the locations I post are outside. Don't know if you've seen them. You knew? Whoa, okay. I guess I'll take a look. I search her username and find her profile again. I click to see her location uploads. On a quick scroll through, I see a lot of water structures of different kinds, especially sewers. There's also some that are just that just seem like dirt paths, some outcrops, slime pits, underpasses. Oh, there's one that looks familiar. It looks like what I saw from the window on the bus on my way into Burger City. The fallen fruit fiber ladder? Guess that's what guess that's what it is. Another notification pops up, so I click it. It's a second private message. I'm just going to go back to those liminal spaces. Because, you know, I think one of the things to savor about these games, like experimental games, or just indie games in general, right, is the person making it has a vision for it. And they have concepts and ideas that they want to sort of translate from, you know, the current kind of things that they're loving into an artifact, in this case a game and then share it with other people. And I kind of want to get to a point where I'm not just talking about like, oh, the art's good, or, um, you know, I really liked the narrative in this game. I kind of want to tease out a bit more about like, is this a game where the, the dev team are trying to capture an idea? If so, what is the idea? Have they captured it well? Am I... Do I think that I'm understanding what they're trying to get across? And and also and then engage with the the idea itself and kind of go, oh, okay, so not only have they done, not only do I understand what they're trying to capture here, but also the thing they've captured is interesting too. So they've mentioned liminal spaces. It's a forum about liminal spaces. We open with a, a mini argument about, you know even if the original definition of liminal was sort of focused on inside, how important is outside liminal spaces? And here are some. I just want to kind of go through them a bit more. So sewers. Sewers is a liminal space. I mean, I've always felt personally that... I mean, sewers aren't really places where people go. Is that part of what a liminal space is? Uh, to me, I think the value of a liminal space is that it's a place that people go but don't stay at. And we don't really, sewers aren't really made for people to go to, so I feel like it's almost cheating to say a sewer is a liminal space. In my own, once again, there's my own garbled definition of it that I've probably just from osmosis picked up without actually reading through any kind of Wikipedia page or anything. Dirt path, dirt path dirt, very liminal, I reckon. Um, there's one between me and the supermarket that I ride on. Um, there's no stopping there. Oh, when, when you do stop, it's quite nice, you know, with the ants and that. Um, some outcrops. Don't quite know what an outcrop is in this context. They just mean, like, the top of a cliff. Um, I was thinking there's a component of travelling through liminal space. So is a dead end a liminal space? Like, like the top of a cliff. I mean, you can't stay there, because... It's, it's uninhabitable when you think of like there's no water, there's just wind, you're exposed to the elements. You cannot stay on top of a cliff. So in that sense, it's transitory. But I feel like it's a destination. Whereas to me, I, I would kind of lean towards the value of a space like that, of a liminal space, is it's trend, you're sort of traveling through it. Mm, that's a very commutary take on it. I don't know. Slime pits. I don't know what that is. I don't know what those are. Is that an American thing? <laughs> is, this a, is this a factory farming thing? I don't know. And underpasses. Yes, very liminal. Um, yes, well, I mean, I could do a whole two hours on underpasses, couldn't I? Uh, well, just to let you know, if you ever want to meet up, me and my friends usually go together to be safe. There's also a Liminal Spaces regional meetup in town next week. You are in Burger City, I assume. Is is Burger City like 
a nickname for a place. Is this like a Chicago or a, like Tokyo or something? And I just don't know. Eep, a meetup. <laughs> okay, very COVID, very indie dev, very queer indie dev. Complete fear of meeting up with other people. Wait till I tell Blue that I've already made a friend. Well, after I meet her, that is. I should say something. Uh, hey, I'm kind of new. Lived here a long time and moved back recently. The city is pretty different. I'd love to meet up. Now, that line's speaking to me, because I just moved back. Was that stupid? Maybe I shouldn't be telling her all of this. She only saw my one post. What if she's a troll? What if her and this... <laughs> fucks mon manga person are the same? Blue would be shaking my heading at me right now. Oh cool, I'm from the area, not the city though. Moved closer so I wouldn't be so far from work. Anyway, what are you doing tomorrow? Heck, tomorrow? This person definitely wants to kill me. Heck it. By the way, I, I don't bite. Winky smiley face. <laughs> we can meet up somewhere in public. Maybe to get a day drink? Oh, is this, become a, this is becoming a date. I feel my brain pulse and my heart stop. That felt like a, That felt like a bit of a mind read. This person seems to know what they're doing. I need to log off. I'm not falling for this. But her video, her sewer video. Oh, heck it. Let's go get heckin' murdered. Hey, uh, yeah, haha. -ha. If you were a murderer, at least you'd be a murderer of similar interests as me. <laughs> I think I've had this exact conversation with guys on like dating apps. Heck no. Delete, delete, delete. Hey, that sounds cool. I'm not usually one to meet up with someone quick. Oh no, I think you should sort of, you know, ask if they're a murderer or not, because they have to tell you if they are, you know, by law. That sounds cool. I'm not usually one to meet up with someone so quickly, but as long as we're out and about, I think it's fine. Sick. See you tomorrow at noon. I wake up kind of late. It'll be my breakfast. Ugh. I hate people who want breakfast at like 11 o'clock. I'm just like, it just throws off my whole day. Oh yeah, actually there's this place I used to love, I'm not sure if it's still around, called the Old Best. It's a great name. Oh, that's funny. I haven't been there in a minute, but I'm down. See you there. The, the people in this game are way cooler than me. <laughs> so I'm like reading out the lingo. I'm down. I'm shaking my heading at it. I'm shaking my heading at my uncoolness. But you know, this is what games, this is what art's all about, partly. You get to live other people's experiences. So it's valuable for that. Um, I love what I'm seeing out the window here. This sort of um, mother of pearl oil, oil slick kind of vibe. It was raining on my way to the meetup spot, old best. I was eager and terrified, but the soft droplets forking down the windows on the train helped me zone out a bit. Also love the passengers on the train. Although those train windows are giving me a little bit sort of washing machine vibe. I know to make a train change after the third stop, then to get off on green. Honestly, it's all unfamiliar at this point. Burger City used to be only one level, now it's on several. They keep most people's living quarters at the top to keep them away from seepage and other pollutants. Giant elevator trains take you up and down and also go horizontal. The level thing makes it hard to know where I am. I wonder if I'll get to ask her about her video. I can't decide on how to bring it up. Should I act like it's just a normal video? Maybe I'm the one that's making it weird. In that case, I should try not to be worried about how I bring it up. But if I ask her just outright and it is some kind of thing, She'll know I looked at it, and I might not be able to hide my curiosity about it. I don't want to weird her out. Lever bus intercom. Stop four on Gasper down line, arriving. Oh heck, wait a minute. So we're in some sort of um, future city, are we, by the sounds of it? The restaurant ended up converting to an outdoor-only spot. A lot of places converted to save money for convenience, and especially after the five waves of turbo virus a decade ago. COVID game. You can call it, you can come up with whatever sci-fi name you want for it, but I can spot a COVID game like that. Okay, okay, everything is fine. There's people around. Where's my straw chain? Okay, straw chain in, in hand. Time to experience. <laughs> I, hang 
I hang around behind a crowd of people ordering food and stare at the menu without actually reading it. Oh, I do that all the time. Wait, how is she supposed to recognize me? Hey, sorry to bug. Are, are you Gigas? Oh my heck, I was just about to pull up my forums on my phone. Pull up the forums on my phone and message you. How'd you know? I mean, I've seen your, pic your profile picture, and I looked up your username to see if I could get any other images of you. Not in a weird way. Just don't want to bug you again. By the way, my name's Hatchet. She's wearing a halter top made of a stretchy sweater fabric, like the kind they used to put on shoes. <laughs> a go-go plastic holographic skirt, which looks extra magical with raindrops on it. Stretchy moisture wicking knee warmers and ugly generic brand hiking boots. I honestly hadn't expected it to be so fashionable. It does sound like an amazingly good look. Oh, hatchet, cool. I uh, honestly, I, I would have done the same, actually. Not weird. A bit weird to just say it outright, <laughs> outright like that, though. That is something that I find really interesting about, like, modern internet culture, or just modern culture that's on the internet, right? It's like how much we can read into just, like, like a lack of a full stop or if you've capitalized the word or like, oh, did they click, did they click on the link kind of thing? We just, it's like this new sort of level of like social etiquette that's just like hyper intense. But, I've, but I'm kind of really amazed that we're still all managing it as a society. A bit weird to just say it out, I like that though. Have you ordered? No, but I think I'll just get a smoothie. It better be a burger smoothie or I'll be disappointed. I hope this doesn't sound dumb, but I was pretty nervous to meet you, and it's hard for me to eat when I'm nervous. I get it. New place, new people. Not settled in yet. Or just not that sociable. Honestly, I'm no good with people either. I just don't care about many things that much anymore. Something like that. Hatchet goes up to order, cracks a joke with whoever is taking their order, and walks over to me. I'm going to sit right at the mouth of that alley. I'll wait for you there. Ugh. I have never seen the selector wizard outline in a game before. In hundreds of games, thousands of games, I've never seen that. That is genius. That is so good. I do think that's the GIMP as well. I don't think that's Photoshop. I reckon that's GIMP. Oh. I'm in love with this game. I'm just totally in love with it. I know like 99% of you, of the five people that watch this, are like, eh, eh, it's pretty ugly. But... That is literally perfection to me. That is so beautiful. Oh, you can't fake that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh. Damn it, the whole week worth of videos was worth it just for that image. I can't get over how clever that is. Just who would who would just think to just go I see, I use these programs all the time. I use them every day or whatever. I'm always selecting stuff. I'm always, I always see that outline of things I've selected, often very jagged because I've used like select a color or select a region. It's always transitory because it, because it, it's only there for a few seconds before you move on to the next one. But you probably spend hours, if you're using these programs a lot, you probably spend hours a day with that effect on your screen, in front of, in your eyes, you know. And just for somebody to go, I'm going to capture that and put it in my art, is, it's just one of those small little leaps that's, that is actually genius. You know, when people say, oh, I feel, I feel seen, or I finally feel seen or whatever, I think f if you're the kind of person that knows what I'm talking about with that selector effect, 
you you will feel sane in this sane if that makes sense because i feel sane all right I got my smoothie and grabbed her food so it was ready. As I walk over to the alley, I see her looking upwards through the light uh, through the light grates, towards the underside of the next level up. She sips her weight from side to side, playfully, lost in thought. I mean, that's... Because there's, like, different, lots of different types of art. I'm just talking it through, okay? I've, I'm just kind of like, I don't really know if this is actually a watchable video because I am really just excited and just kind of talking out my own, you know, meandering thoughts a bit today. But it's like, I feel a big component of art is to reflect your existence around you or to, like to capture reality, even though in very unreal ways, to me, there's, almost, there's kind of like a correlation between like good art and art that speaks to the world around it. Um, I don't want to say it's like a one-to-one -one because obviously you get great art that's just completely divorced from any kind of, in fact, it's almost like a it's almost like a trough, right? Like the the art that's like completely unrelated to existence can be awesome, and art that is like really speaks to current day issues is really awesome. And then maybe the stuff in the middle is kind of a bit safe or a bit uninteresting. And a healthy society, healthy civilization, even is where the art does reflect the world around you and the life around you. And that's when you see like genres change and, and, you know, fashions come and go. And then stuff that was relevant can just seem like it's there forever. Like Western movies, you know, they were there for like 30, 40 years and people were like, well, we'll never get tired of Westerns. People love Westerns. And then all of a sudden, you know, someone makes like a kitchen sink drama about like mob violence or something and then all of a sudden people are like oh actually the art we were making doesn't actually speak to us anymore and all it takes and i think that that divergence is where sort of opportunity for great art starts to happen and here we've seen someone kind of go i'm reading a lot into it i understand that but i'm going to go there anyway they're like I see this selector effect so much. I see it, it's such a big part of my existence, but I never see it in art. So I'm going to put it in art and boom, you know, that's all. I guess that's the rant. Um, apologies. I'm moving on. Got the food. It was already ready and they could see on the camera that you were with me, so they told me to go ahead and bring your food to you. Suspicious. Okay, cool, thanks. Also, your name? Ah, uh, duh, it's Gilla. Ooh, ha 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 ha, Gilla Rex. I don't know, is that a joke? Gilla, Gilla Rex, Gilla Rex. Huh, huh? Nothing, nothing, just making some observations out loud. Oh, Killer, Killer Rex, like Gilla Rex, okay. Ha 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 ha, where's my straw chain? I'm loving, I'm loving that I have no idea what a straw chain is. It's just some sort of weird Burger City future apocalypse thing. So, what's it been like to see the city change? It's been super weird, honestly. Some of it happens fast, some of it slower. The levels happen pretty fast, believe it or not. Guess they didn't want a bad reputation. You know, I find that places in flux are ripe for weird spots. I hate to say liminal spaces, but that's the official term, right? Weird spots is a really great way of saying that. Nice, yeah, having smart things to say. Just don't, you know, take it too far. Yeah, for sure. All the transitioning. It can be kind of beautiful in a sick way. Ugh. Even the disgustingly huge vortex malls that have been making a comeback and eating everything in their path. It's interesting to see them getting built. It's interesting to see them getting built up, to see their unremarkable insides. I mean, that that feels like a slight reference to a really famous science fiction story from like the 70s or whatever, short story, about this um, shopping centre that's being built faster than you can walk. And so once you enter it, you, you kind of grow up and meet someone and have kids and then die before you can get out. Unremarkable? You know what I mean. Maybe utilitarian would have been a better U word to use. I just mean the stuff people only care to think about in measured terms. She's losing me. You mean like in terms of, okay, what do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Sometimes I just go off onto my own tangents and forget to bring people there with me. 
I want to bring up the video, but I, I don't know how. Maybe... Also, sorry about earlier saying I looked you up. I didn't want to feel like I was hiding that from you, but also worried that it might come off weird. Usually if I laugh, people just laugh it away with me. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I, I guess I missed that one. I don't say that to, I don't say that to say you should have laughed. Just trying to be transparent? Too much? Oh no, no, it's cool. I'm not the best at doing the social thing. Thanks for explaining. Actually, on that note, on that note, I also looked you up. You do ASMR? Oh, good one. Yes, you're only looking at ASMR videos. They're all ASMR videos. It's normal to do that. Oh, so you knew what you were getting into, huh? Yeah, I make ASMR, but I have similar feelings about but I have similar feelings about liminal spaces and ASMR. Oh, what's that exactly? Okay, we are getting away from the goal here. Like, like people care so much about an idea that they suffocate it, keeping it the same shape forever. Nobody likes to stretch. This game is like really got a lot going on. Okay, actually, now that I get. Now, I, actually, I think I get you. Like, BCLS, people just seem to love to regurgitate the same heck on there, and it doesn't seem like they realize it. Like, they don't even know that every space is a liminal hecking space when you feel alone. Oh my god. Genius, brilliant. I mean, well... I don't want to sound like a bro here, but I mean, yeah, kind of. I promise I'm not a hater. I just want for everyone to have the, the most fun they can. Not much else to do, and a surprising amount of people hate fun. Okay, now I wonder, this is my idea, but this is my like goal of engaging with the idea in the game, not just like the aesthetics, or not just like the game, but the actual point of the game, I guess. I'm wondering if they're talking about ASMR, or they're talking about something else. But I think they may be talking about ASMR. Um, that's alright, or liminal. Uh, you know, they could be talking about game devs. They could be talking about the internet in general, maybe. I'll need more information. Is this my chance? Maybe I can sleuth it. Look at me having any amount of energy to have awareness right now. Blue would be so proud. What is it you do for fun, aside from uplo uploading to the BCLS forum and making ASMR videos? I do like saying ASMR. Ironically. Here it is, here it is, the answers. Not much, honestly. She looks over at me after taking a big bite of her triple egg sauce bun. I'm not quite sure what the main character is hoping to get out. Like, they've seen the sewer video, and they've and they've kind of fixated on it a bit. And so they've and they fixated on this person as the creator of that video. And I wonder, is it like... Clearly, it's kind of like tickled their fancy a bit. But in what way? Like, do they have a sewer thing? Or do they have, like, a ASMR thing? It's hard to... It's hard to... It's hard to say at the moment. She looks over uh, at me after taking a big bite of her triple egg sauce bun. Some of the sauce drips onto her skirt, right where her crotch is. Okay, I think we're getting answers. She sees me staring at the sauce glob, and I immediately turn to grab my smoothie and take self-conscious sips. Hatchet wipes... Swipes the glob up with the end of her arm. Isn't that... You, just your hand? Oh, because they don't have hands. They've got those sort of um, future tentacle things. Blinks and looks up at me from, uh, and looks up at me from beneath some hair falling out of place and very large eye bumbles. I don't think we're dealing with humans in hindsight. I know you said you weren't going to eat, but uh, do you want to try some of this? That's a great line. I gulp a big chunk of smoothie and remain shocked in place. Haha, <laughs> never mind. Ha, <laughs> sorry. You've probably had everything on the menu here. Never mind. I'd be reading a lot into those kind of comments too. She starts to pull her arm toward her face, and out of some confusing, stupid, cube-headed, misplaced guilt or something, I lean forward and stick my tongue out. Oh. I open her eyes... Her eyes open wide, and I can tell she's holding back a laugh with the strength of one slight upturned corner of her mouth. I thought for sure she'd make a joke, but she was just silently but she just silently pats her tip on my tongue, swipes down and out, making sure the thick syrup separates from her. It tastes tangy. It's quite romantic. I pull back, embarrassed, but also feeling stubborn. At least it tastes how I remember it. Hatchet smiles. Well, we're only supposed to do half an hour for each game, just to give a little flavour of the game. Um, and also, my attention span 
without a break, uh, just talking for half an hour is actually quite a lot. Um, but I'm enjoying it, so we'll give it a bit more time. I mean, I think I say that every single time in almost the exact same word phrasing. I've got to get some new lines. What do you think about, what do you like about this spot? I don't know, honestly, their food is just really good. But why is that? Well, I really like that they have a simple menu of a few items and that they follow the new seasons. Most of the new AG factory farm to table stuff still tries to go by the old seasons, which is beyond arbitrary at this point. Wow, we're even getting a little bit of like climate change, grow local vibe to it. I kind of want to really be friends with the developers of this game, except I just know... I just know they're too cool for me. Oh well. She nods, which she feels like is encouraging me to continue. And I really like the way they mix text textures. They utilize a pretty wide variety of textures, like fluffy, syrupy, crunchy, rubbery, and they mix them together so well, like your triple egg sauce bun, for example. See, now another thing that I'm loving about this game is that it's a very sensory game. So that the whole, like the conceit is that it's about ASMR, or just about the AS of ASMR. We're talking about like traveling through space. We're talking about like, um, you know, the feeling of like, liquids and, and fluids and the sewer and everything and the smell of a sewer and now we're talking about like the texture of stuff you know this is like think of all the senses this game has has sort of evoked and i'm just like that's that's actually something i really struggle with in my games you know i i'm just very i guess sight and word driven um i'm also i'm not great with the audio even um I wish I could get to a, to a level where I'm talking about the texture, where I'm talking about the flavor. It's all good. It's got three fluffed up but crispy egg buns. Don't even get me started on the egg buns. They toast the top of the top one and the bottom of the bottom one extra. Oh, that does sound good. Anyway, then there's this tangy syrup. I mean, I don't know what an egg bun is, but it sounds good. But then there's that tangy syrup stuff with cubes of toasted meat and frozen cucumbers. And if you eat it at the right time, you get a semi-gooped but semi-crunchy cucumber experience between the buns. Okay, this is very ASMR in my limited understanding. And all of it together is like layers and layers of yummy. And feeling it in my mouth after I bite through a perfectly calculated bite is like... Does it ever feel like you're working together? What, what do you mean, working together? Like, you mentioned that perfect bite. Do you ever feel like there are times where you get it wrong? I mean, sometimes if they're busy, it comes out a bit too hard and the egg starts to wilt. No, no, okay. <coughs> Describe to me what happens when you take a bite. I look at her in mild disbelief. You heard me. Describe it to me in detail. Oh, we're getting into the... Okay, I think there is a bit of a kink element to, to these, two's, these two's relationship. She, lasts, she lands her last word firmly, but with a smile, probably to wash down the request with some honey. Okay, so you want me to just tell me what the experience is like? You were talking about the textures. She stretches her legs out like she's getting ready for a story, or... Uh, okay, so I look over to where the glob was on her skirt. So basically, you bite in, or uh, I bite in, and by the way the... Ex and by the way, the experience is radial, so from outer mouth to inner mouth. Okay, is, is this a human thing or a, or a blob thing? Because I, I don't know if I've got an outer mouth, but I, I can't say for certain, because <laughs> I don't know much about human bodies. I see her shift in... Do we have an inner... <laughs> I see her shift in place. Okay, I should take it seriously. I bite in, and uh, the thin toasted layers crackle into the egg fluff, which is light but has some resistance. Continuing to bite leads you through a similar experience, but with the added moment of the syrup. So you've got this crunch and this fluff, and you bite through to the sticky syrup, which at first feels like a weird barrier, but persistence and good luck get you through, get you through a cold cucumber and toasty meat chunk in the same bite. And it's the same experience all the way through, like three layers, and it just feels like a whole world in your mouth. And sometimes the syrup hugs around your teeth just perfectly, not too sticky, and the bun is so soft. I catch her raising an eyebrow. 
and a good clean bite and gulp. Despite the stickiness, it goes down easy. The syrup coats the toasty shards so they end up getting blunted. You want to know what I do for fun? Suddenly I can't read her demeanor. Is she upset, angry, annoyed? Did I talk for too long? I can show you. We can go now. Tell a friend if you don't text them in three hours. You've been murdered. It's <sighs> a great line. Uh, it's just a joke. I'm just telling you to do it so you don't feel like you have to hide it from me. I get it. You don't know me. Just do it and let's go. She lands it again with a smile, but this time it seems warmer, more genuine. I wouldn't know what that is. We took the Horizon train to... <laughs> I'm just going to start calling my trains Horizon trains now. Hopefully we'll get elevator trains eventually. We took the Horizon train to the outskirts of town. Past the moat and out of the mountains. The rest we had to walk. Okay, I, I'm going to have to stop it there. <sighs> Even though it is genius. Like, literally, I got so much out of that game. I mean, the music stopped, which is a bit odd. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's AS Only by GG Noni. 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 Um, I just... I got so much out of the game. Like, you can probably tell I got really excited at some points. Um, oh. You know, I don't need to go into extra depth because I think we went in depth about my feelings of it as we played it. Just what a sensational... This is why I play queer games, actually. Um, I can actually... The stuff with, like, two guys falling in love and being all lovey-dovey, I actually don't particularly care for as much. Just the stuff that is like, existence is freaking queer, you know? It is weird, it's unusual, it's gloopy, it's like upside down. To me, I just can't get enough of that stuff. Alright, have a very good day. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Queer Games Heck Yeah. And I'll see you again uh, in the future.